Cheers, brother. Cheers, Mo. Six feet distance. You know. Yeah, that's right. You're on the other side of the room. Yes. Yes, I am. Mm-hmm. My name is Devin. And I'm Steven. And this is the MMA Neighborhood, guys. Oh, yes, shit, buddy. yeah, get that. We're back, back again for uh, none other than UFC 252. Oy, get you. Yeah, buddy. Uh-huh, that's Miocic versus Chromier Trace. That trilogy. Oh, yeah, baby. The heavyweight championship of the world is on the line. And as DC likes to say, this is the trilogy in their career to make or break one or the other's legacy. It might be the trilogy of all time. You think so? But Ooh. before we get into that. Oh, you spicy motherfucker. Yeah, before we get into the spice, we <laughs> are going to keep it nice. And we are going to go start with the main card of the night. And it is none other than e- Eon, I Eon versus it's Eon Kutabata. E- Kutabata versus Mohamed Akaleva. I don't know. Dude, Eon, I'm, I'm, right. butcher, I'm butchering these fucking this. names. Kutabata versus e- Madave. Sure. Right. Sure. Now, my friend, this is interesting more than you think. Is it? First off, How if you don't know uh, Eon yet. All right. Ion. Ion. Kutabata. <laughs> all right, this guy is a beast. All right, this guy is freaking huge. All right, he's Dude. a monster. You think you think uh, your Romero's big? Is this the Greek god? Kute la Baba. Oh my god! Is the Hulk? All right, dog. He's chiseled. He's the Hulk. Literally, that's his nickname. He's the Hulk. He's cake. He's painted himself green. He's came in mean. Okay. He is the Hulk. Oh. Now he fought Magomed. And this is beautiful because this is the the worst judge ending the fight ever of all times in any MMA fight. Is that right? History. This is the worst judge call of all times. Is that right? Yes. And anybody that's seen the first fight between these two will agree. Have I think I kind of remember what you're you talking about. It, I can't still? remember. You haven't seen it, right? No. You haven't well, seen it? Well, I don't. I can't really remember. All right. Well, this is what you're going to do. I might have. This is what you're going to do, bro. Wait, Hold on one second. We're, you're going to watch this real quick. Watch this. No. Put this against your mic. This is it, this is it right here. No, I'm not kidding you. Tell me. Tell me if. Oh, I no, remember yeah, this watch, fight. Watch this fight. Oh, yeah. Is he? I remember this fight watch, now. Keep watching it. I re- no, I remember. It's done. He called it. No, yeah. Oh. Totally remember this fight now. Like, what happened? Dude, okay. Uh, who's that fucking referee? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who the referee was. It doesn't fucking matter. At the same right. time, I remember watching that fight, actually. Mm-hmm. Straight bullshit. You know, the the dude, uh, Kutabala, was uh, clearly uh, faking being injured, you know, wobbling his body and his whole, you know. Just making it fake like he's, like, dazed or whatever. But the dude, the ref, like, totally fucked it all up, you know? And it was a banger. It's going to be a slugfest. Yeah. It was a slugfest. Hell, fest. yeah. So, yeah, th- that's a stupid Horrible fucking. Horrible call. This is a great rematch. You thought Max Holloway got robbed? Check out that fight. Kuti Max, Hol- uh, <coughs> Max Holloway did get robbed, sir. He did. We want to see real robbery. Magame versus Kuti Lobby, their first fight. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Hold on. Stop the phone. I got to stop you right there. You're telling me this fight's a bigger robbery than Max Holloway and Alex Dude, he Alex stopped the fight Wolf for Ross. nothing. Look at the end. Whoa, He's whoa, sweet. whoa. Okay, so you're telling me this fight that means absolutely nothing, kind of. I mean, everything. Man. Every me, oh, every fight means something. Right. But Al, uh, Max Holloway losing the sequel ch- championship fight that he clearly won is not a bigger robbery no, than no. this? No, what I'm saying is you want to see robbery. Max Holloway, I'm still green as a robbery. Is it, it's a bigger one. Well, I'm saying l- comparing to a robbery, this is another. Yeah, <laughs> it's bigger. It's bigger. You want to see a robbery? Yeah, Max Holloway got robbed. You want to see a bigger one? Whoa. This is big. Dude, the fight. Look, he stops the fight. For who For who hasn't seen it, please look up their first fight. Yeah. Dude, Eon, the Hulk, is throwing punches as the ref stops it. Yeah. So, He's throwing punches. How how's a ref stop a fight if he's throwing back? 
He's throwing right hands. Yes, he gives a little fake wobble. He gives a little wobble. Yeah. But that was it. He ate some head kicks. He was throwing punches, and the ref stops it. Yeah. So, fucking, I am praising this rematch. I am super excited for this one. Yes, yeah. What a hell of a way to start this card. Because the first fight went off like they were fireworks right off the bat, dog. Yep. This, now, I think it's going to be the exact same. Yeah. So, I, I'm fucking, this most dessert rematch I think can can be done right now. Yep, yep. And who do you got? Dude, I'm, t- I mean, personally, I thought, uh, Ma- Magomed. Yeah. I thought he was landing the more precise strikes. Mm-hmm. And he was actually getting the edge uh, on the stand-up. But the power is all on the other dude, Ion. Yeah. For sure. But. The Hulk is a beast. Yeah, bro. but I don't. Did he? Does he have enough power to put him away? I don't know. We, we got robbed. I know. We did get robbed. Of a fight in the first one. So I'm actually going to go with the more precise fighter instead of the guy just wailing and bailing and trying to brawl. I'm going to go with Magomed. Whatever. I'm gonna go with the <laughs> no. I'm gonna go with the guy that got robbed because I believe in karma, and I think he literally got robbed. And I just found out Joe Rogan did this on his own podcast. Yeah, this is really one of the worst calls, man. I don't know the ref. We don't like Jay, Joe Rogan said we don't have to bang on a ref for it, but oh, we bang on we refs, bang bro. On refs, we, we do. We on. do in MMA neighborhood. We do bang on refs. We bang on refs, homie. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know whatever ref it was. Hopefully he ain't the s- Imagine they get the same ref for this one. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? Uh, like, sorry, it, just, it was the timing and yeah. I was the only one available. Yeah. Hopefully not the same ref. But I want the guy who got Rod, which is the Hulk baby, All to right. come in and smash Infuse Magame. I got the opposite. Whatever, dog. Here so, we go. First fight of night. Going to be a banger, baby. So, Light heavyweight. And um, I'm appreciating it. Yeah. Who we got next, Steve? We got some a bantamweight bout. John Dotson versus Holy Schnikes, I'm gonna butcher this. Uh Mur Marab Marab. Marab uh pfft. So John Dude, Dotson no, from no the no from the Ultimate Fighter. We all know John Dotson, the magician. This little guy's always made a good show. You know, he's yeah. up, moved up to bantamweight, used to fight flyweight, <coughs> fought mm-hmm. the Mighty Mouse, flyweight champion. Yeah. And uh, he's been up and down in Bantamweight. Yeah. So, I, I mean, who knows where it really is. This one really, to be honest, and not, I don't know how to dictate this fight. Things up in the air. I don't know the other guy. Well, as for Marab, uh, he's on a four-fight win streak right now. He's 11-4. and four. Okay. Uh, his last loss was to your boy, Ricky Simone. <sighs> that was, that well, was, then I got Dawson. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was his last loss. Um uh, was to him, but other than that, the the four people that he's beat after Ricky, um, re- kind of nobody's, no one really all that special, all by decisions. Okay. If that says anything to you, um, nothing. So, I mean, I'm gonna go with John Dotson just purely because I've seen the magician before and I've seen yeah. what he can do. We've seen the magic. So, way more better, probably. F- I don't know. I'm just going to go with John Dawson. Yeah, hard for us to be uh, analytical. Analytical, critical, political, all on that. Oh, calm down. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, yeah, I got, I, got, I got the magician John Dotson. Not too sure about the other guy. We'll see what happens. Yeah. So let's go. Yeah. Let's get to the good shit now. Well, yeah, let's move uh, on. What? Move on. move on to the the heavyweights. <laughs> we went from the, sm- the, was the small guys to the heavyweight guys, <laughs> and now we're, we are we are into the heavyweight Section of the night, Junior Dos Santos. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Versus Rosenstruck. Oh. Oh shit. I love this one, bro. Do you love it? How much do you love it, though? I love it a lot. Come on, baby. Tell me. Tell, tell me. Tell me. Tell me how much you love this. Shit. I love it, man. I'm JDS, one of my favorite heavyweight fighters of all times. Look, look, let's go off character alone. The guy, you can't. How do you not like the guy? He's super kind, super nice. Is he? Yeah, he is. And he comes out <laughs> to my favorite, the Rocky song. You gotta love it. I've never seen a Rocky movie. Oh, crime on you. <laughs> You're not. This is, this is over. It's done. Shut it down. Turn it off. Turn, just kidding. Mm, I'm, I'm being. Shame. I'm 100 percent being dead We're serious. We're gonna have a whole night. Hold on. Devin, I'm being 100 percent dead serious. I've never seen it a Rocky now. movie. It's now. <laughs> We're having a uh, blockbuster night. Rocky all night. Rocky. I don't know how many. One through there six, are. baby. We do There's it all. There's six Rocky Man, there movies. There might be seven, bro. Oh my. You want to crown d- the Creed? D- d- Oh my yeah. god. But anyways, back to the fight. 
We got JDS, Junior yeah, Dos yeah. Santos, former heavyweight championship of the world. Yeah, a long ass time ago. Yeah, you know, but he knocked out <laughs> a lot of people, right? He's a knockout artist. A long artist. ass time ago. Now, so is Rosenstruck. He's also a knockout artist. He was undefeated till he met Mr. Francis the Predator in Ghana. Yeah. Which JDS also met, and they both came to the same conclusion, which was a knockout for yes. both of them. Yeah. So now these guys, you know, they're both really good. Not as good as Ngannou, but I love this matchup. All right, well, who do you got if you uh, love this matchup so I'm being too much. biased, so I want to hear your opinion. Well, I think this is a fairly easy decision for me. Uh, JDS is not the you know, heavyweight champion that he once was. He's not that guy that, you know, is able to stay in there long enough to, cut, uh, you know, rug out, rug out the win. Get out of here. Hold on. Hold on. No, it's exactly where you think I'm going with it. Uh, how, how are you saying it? Rosenstru? Yeah, Rosenstru. Dude, this dude's about to fuck JDS up and put All him right, on another planet, dog. Okay. He's about to be like Interstellar, throw him in a fucking black hole, and he's going to exit out through another fucking galaxy, dog. Whoa. He's going to be fucking done. Listen, who did Rosenstru beat? People pull up his record while I talk. Okay. Who did Rosenstru beat? Who did Junior Dos Santos beat? Let's How long ago, though? Well, how long ago, though? Dos Santos. How long ago? <sighs> That's why I fucking thought. <laughs> Dude. Dos Santos. Okay, so you, okay, hold on. Uh, Rosenstruck. He beat Overeem. Dos Santos lost to Overeem. Okay, so he also beat Andre Olaski, Alistair Overeem, and then he was on a he was on a ten fight win streak. He's I right. knockout, knockout, He's knockout, right. TKO decision. Where I'm going TKO, with this? TKO knockout, knockout, knockout. Where I'm going with this? Is JDS a more experienced fighter? I don't think he's completely burnt out. He's burnt. And I love this fight. He's going to stab and move, and I see a knockout from the famous Sagano JDS, Junior Dos Santos, second round. No. Yes. Rosenstruck's going to knock this Overhand old, right. He's gonna, Rosenstruck's going to knock this old bitch ass out in the first round. Overhand right. In like two and a half minutes. Overhand right. Oh, yeah? JDS. You want to know why you say that? Because that's all he has now. <laughs> because he has no chin. You want to know why he has such a wide stance? You want to know why he has such a wide stance? Because he doesn't want to get hit on the chin because it's glass now. Old ass fucking man withers. Uh, he ain't got shit. Damn, damn. Rosenstruck. Who do you got in my neighborhood? We got a debate going on right now. Man, we got a fucking big debate Steelers going on. wants to see JDS die because he's just hating. Hey, man, there's certain people that Rosenstruck don't fuck- just got his ass laid the fuck out by. Hey, by the way, go look that up. Nganu knocking out Rosenstruck. A lot worse than him knocking out JDS. Hey, it doesn't fucking matter. But uh, Rosenstruck we'll versus JDS. JDS What's is J- getting is JDS sent. coming off a win, off a win or a loss? I don't know. Look it up. I know Rosenstruck just got knocked out. Yeah, he did for the first time. You think he's not gonna be a little scared? Nope. Because he's going out, going against a he's veteran. Going against old man Withers, dog. Veteran. It don't matter. Nah, veteran. Uh, he's uh, JDS is coming off two losses in a row. Uh, his first loss, Francis, by TKO. And then next, he got knocked out by Curtis Blades. Fuck you and your decision. Well, calm Curtis down, Blades. This Curtis. Is not Curtis fucking in Blades. In my neighborhood language. He got, knock- <laughs> he, he, got, he got knocked out by a wrestler. Oh. I fucking got you there, didn't All right, I? here we go. I got you but there, But I'll didn't get I? you I got this you Saturday there. at USC 252, Miocic versus Cormier Trilo- the Trilogy, the number three. Mm-hmm. JDS will knock out Rosenberg. <laughs> Yeah, right. And you know what? That should be the co-main, but before we're going to co-main, we're going to take a little break. All right. But the co-main will, will involve the Sugar Show, and yep. we'll be right back for the Sugar Show. High pace. And we are back with the MMA Neighborhood. I'm Steven. I'm Devin. And we are talking about UFC 252 Miocek versus Daniel Cormier, yes. DC, the, the trilogy. trilogy. Nice. Yeah, my boy. And we're going to go into the co-main event right now. Yeah. And that's Sean O'Malley. Sugar Sean O'Malley, baby. Versus Marlon Vera. And what do you think about this matchup, oh, even? I was going to ask you the same. Um, I well, think this is not the matchup that should have been made. Hearing all the previous podcasts, if you have in the MMA neighborhood, you know me. I'm like, I want I want Sugar Show to progress. I want to see him fight some top-level guys. And this is not it. This is not it. What happened? He called out Cody Garbrandt. What happened with that? I want to see him fight Cody Carbrandt. I know. What happened? 
absolutely fucking nothing. So now I he's think Gar- coming. Garbrandt's like fighting. Isn't he fighting for a fucking title or something? Nah, he's bluffing with the flyweight title. But I think he's booked for someone else, which I think Marlon Moraes, if I'm correct, is fighting Garbrandt. Yeah. But anyways, Marlon Vera, not to diss on him, you know, I think he's game. I, I see him fight a couple times, but if I'm not c- correct, I'm, I think I see him from the Ultimate Fighter Mexico Challenge once. I think he won that one. But, you know, he's not ranked. And Sean O'Malley is finally ranked, what, number three? 14? Some shit like that. So, it's, But he still hasn't fought a ranked opponent. Yeah. So, you know me. Maybe should I stop talking shit? I'll stop talking shit. Look at my... <laughs> look, at, look at Sugar Show. Coming out some beautiful knockouts. Some of the... Maybe knockout of the year. He just knocked out Eddie Wineland's beautiful walk-off t- knockoff knockout. It's one strike. He knocked out the guy before him. But the guy's... Just, there's just no name value on the guy's knocking out. Yeah. But, you know, I like it. I still like he still brings a show. It's still sweet and sugar like it is, but mm-hmm. I just want to see him fight top level guy. Anyways, I got him winning this fight again by knockout. Sean O'Malley? Is Sean O'Malley? Yeah, sugar show. Well, I'm going to have to agree with you because Brandon Vera? Yeah. I Marlon just, Vera. Marlon Vera, sorry. I just don't see. He's coming off a loss versus Song Young Dong. <laughs> and, uh,. Song Young Dong. Song Young Dong. Okay. <laughs> you, uh, you have to remember that fight, I've seen dog. that guy. Yeah, yeah dude. Badass, you have actually. to remember that fucking fight, dog. Can't remember. Dude, Song Young Dong, dude, that was a good fight. Yeah. That was a very good fight. But, yeah, it's just like Marlon Vera, like, he doesn't – he's game. But, like you said about Sugar uh, Sean O'Malley, he hasn't beaten people of any nor- uh, nor- uh, any big names, you know? Yeah. He hasn't beaten big names. Neither right. has Marlon. So – you know, from just the point of fact of where they both are in their careers right now, I'm going to have to go with Sean O'Malley. Sean O'Malley, yeah. Yeah. I mean, because he's just on a fucking. He is the sugar fire. show. He got the bag of Skittles on his head. <laughs> as sugar as it gets. And yeah, we got Sean O'Malley. Got let's let's go with the hype train. Let's go with that hype train. Still hey. ain't fully sold. I ain't fully on the sold and shit and all this shit, man. He we said, he said Garbrandt this. don't want it. What? Said Garbrandt don't want it, bro. Yeah. Okay, kid, let's get back to the facts real quick. That should fight should have been one of them. Yeah, dude, dog, how fucking sick would that have been? Sean O'Malley versus a little Garbrandt. He said Garbrandt's <laughs> five three, and he, he said he said Garbrandt's five three, and he's six four. <laughs> <laughs> he don't want none. Dog, buddy, buddy. Sean O'Malley, man. I would love to see him versus Garbrandt. Yeah, well, maybe the next one. We'll see, bro. But for now, co-main event, Sugar Sean O'Malley. They hype him up like he's something. And I think he is. And we'll see if he is. Yeah. But you know what is something? What is? Tell me. Oh, you know what it is. I don't know what it is. The main <laughs> event <laughs> of oh, the evening. It's time. <laughs> For the Sorry man. for the loudness. No, dude, we got the trilogy. <laughs> Stipe, the heavyweight champion of the world. Stipe Miocic versus Daniel Cormier. This is it, guys. The blockbuster event of the summer. We got none other. The trilogy. The best. Of the two of the best heavyweights. One of the best. Of the live. Holy shit. Alive at the time. God damnness. It's Stipe Miocic. Oh, fuckness. Has just got regained his Hold on. heavyweight title back. From the last fight. Devin, we yes. got cheers to this one. Cheers. Cheers, my dude. Hey. <laughs> cheers to the MMA neighborhood. <laughs> this is what we've been waiting. This is a trilogy where I am so pumped to see. It's one of the best trilogies in in recent memory. It is one of the best this ones. Is something it, it's one of like, the better honestly, ones for sure. It's meant, it's meant to be. They both have. Until Conor McGregor faces Nate Diaz. Yeah, that one's. Uh, I don't want to get there. <laughs> I'm going to ask you later where you which one's. You think are meant to be trilogy wise, yeah, 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 yeah. and which one's your favorite? But for now, yeah, we yeah. have one Ferris? that's happening live, and it's this Saturday, UFC two fifty two. It's so, likable. Look, both guys, Stipe, DC, both have a finish on each other. DC came out, and knocked Stipe out in the first round with oh, a yeah. with a check hug in the in the in with the that clinch. fluke hit. 
It could have been fluke. Some may say it maybe Steve H. Chen was weak from the Francis and Ghanaian fight before. Maybe that's what you think, and that's what I believe. But <laughs> we have a second fight that comes in. Stipe is getting worked again. Barely. Holy fuck, we're screaming. What the fuck? Is that? And then we get into the third, the fourth round. Stipe's finding his fucking range. He's finding the body shot. Oh. Popeyes can't take the body shot. Oh. The Popeyes is killing him. Oh, he I'm fucking excited just Stipe hearing it. Stipe lands you. these body shots. They're nasty. The Popeyes mm. is deep in DC. <laughs> And as soon as he feels that shit, man, Stipe Buckle. goes up from the bottom to the top, lands some straight punches, Buckle. Buckle. DC's down, and we got ourselves a trilogy fight. Both have a Whoa. knockout of each other. Both have a finish, and it's game on God this Saturday. It. I'm loving it. God Who damn you it. got, Steve-O, God for this shit. trilogy God that of the heavyweight I championship of the shit. world? Shit, blood. You know what I'm saying, man? This shit be go crazy. Now, for real, though. This is going to be a very interesting fight. And I say a fluke on that first fight of DC knocking out Stipe is because it was a fluke. Because in the fe- second fight, Stipe was getting hit by those same punches and nothing happened. Mm. You know, it's possible to hit anyone right on the button at any time in any fight. It doesn't matter who you are or who you're facing. Mm. Big, tall, short, fat, doesn't fucking matter. You could get knocked out by anybody, and it shows, and it could happen, and we've seen it happen time and time before. Right. Now, about this trilogy, though. DC's going to retire after this fight, regardless, win or lose. Mm. Stipe, no. He's going to stay in here for a while. I think DC, just knowing that retirement is right after this fight, no matter what happens, a part there's always going to be a part of you after you say, I'm done after this, where there's a part of that fight is gone out of you. Mm. It's, it's, it's checked out. Not the whole thing, because he's going to fight now. Let me stop you there, though. Now, maybe there is a part, you know, like Danny White says, if you already think in retirement, you're done, right? Yeah. But there's also another part to this. He has nothing to lose. It's everything. This is DC's last fight. He's giving it everything he's got. He has everything to lose. But this is it. It's this all ev- of it. He, he, you said he everything. has nothing to lose. He has everything to lose. This what? is this is his legacy. And okay. this is also Stipe's legacy. Okay. They both have huge amounts of legacy to lose. True. You know what I'm saying? Well, Stipe, I'm saying it, I guess my question to you, sir. Do you think DC will go into this... Very strategical. Like he says, he will be a wrestler in this fight. He will wrestle at Stipe. He will put him to the ground. Mm. He will not make the same mistake. Or, mm-hmm. love that cheer out. I love, or will Stipe, or will DC make the same mistake twice? Get over aggressive. Well, make it put all on the line and not care and just leave it all out there and fail. Well, that's one thing that we saw from the first fight, from the second fight, from DC strategy is he was he was there to bang, that he was there to bang. That's it, straight up. Not really any takedowns I that I recall in the first fight, or first and second. Well, the second fight he took him down. Yeah, DC took him down. Yeah, and he's oh, beating yeah, his ass. Right. But you know, look, what I'm get the point I'm getting to is I he might say he's gonna wrestle fuck. Stipe, but I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't know if that's going to... As in, will he be able to pull it off, or as in, is that his real game plan? I feel like everyone's counting... I think everyone's forgetting how good Stipe is. I am. I ain't. No, I'm not not saying you necessarily, but a lot of the majority of the people are forgetting how great Stipe is. Not only did Stipe knock out a Prime, pretty prime JDS. And Verdum. Al- and Verdum. And Overeem. Um, holy shit. We're talking. And didn't knock out, but took out none other. The reigning crazy fucking beast in Ganu. Yeah. Dominated. Yes. Took his strongest so shot. Those are, those are, those are Stipe's four, I believe, title defenses. So Killing it. You're Most tell, you're heavyweight tell, title defenses in UFC exactly. history. He, Stipe is a fucking monster. Yes. DC, DC padded his record after he won the title off Stipe. He padded his record over some bullshit fights versus Black Beast and I think someone else. Oh, yeah. All right. No. I can't remember. Who are, Stipe, who are DC's 
greatest wins. Now he was a light heavyweight champion and one of the few to other to ever be a double champion in two divisions. Okay, who did DC fight though? Who did right. who did DC so, fight in the prime? In, in my prime. opinion, his best wins are like Gustafsson, maybe um, yeah. you know, Bigfoot back in Strike Force. But dog, like, see, that's what I'm saying. DC has really not fought any great people in prime in their prime. Anthony Johnson was a good one. Okay, like two that one, from. that one, I will give to yeah. DC, um, uh, because. Anthony, Anthony Johnson, Johnson dude, that was when Anthony Johnson was on a So fucking, similar to ooh, Stipe rampage. and Nganu, Stipe took out that monster one one shot killer. Same with DC, but it was a lighter division. Yeah. But, you know, in this one, it to me, it's a coin toss. It's a coin toss, man. It's a coin toss? Cause it's a coin toss because both guys have figured out a way to beat each other in either oh. one's fights. Yeah. And it was, I'm not talking about the first fight because the first fight maybe was a fluke. Maybe Stipe's chin was weak, which I personally believe in Ghana weakened Stipe's chin. And if you don't want to believe it, watch the tough ultimate fighter. He seems concussed. But in the second fight, DC could have finished Stipe if he kept it on the ground. He knows that's the weakness. And Stipe knows if he tags DC's body, he will fade. So now they know each other's kryptonite. Yeah. Who's going to implement it? They both have their advantage. They both know their weaknesses. Who's going to win it? Now, like you said, they both know each other's weaknesses. They both know the advantages. What's more likely to happen? Is is Stipe going to, you know, leave his one his left hand or right hand down every time he fucking pops up and get cracked? Every time he X's out the clinch versus DC, like in the first fight. Or will DC be able to protect his body from those liver shots that in, uh, inevitably crippled him to get TKO'd? Which one's more likely to happen? Tough one to call. Let me just answer that because it was a rhetorical question. Oh. Guess what? They're both very likely to happen. The mm. question is, who's going to be able to do more damage in their strengths? So uh, via the other dude's weakness, I'm calling for the fact that Stipe, he got knocked out in the first fight because it was a fluke. He got hit, and it, like I said in the beginning, it can't happen again. But in that second fight, it didn't. The fact that DC is still probably going to be vulnerable in that in those body shots, that's going to weaken him. Stipe knows this. DC knows this. And that's why it's DC, like you said, is going to try and do a, a, an aggressive wrestling strategy. Right. And we're going to see if he could take him down all night, this, that, and the other. So my pick is Stipe, probably third round. <sighs> third round what? TKO? Yes. Nah. So I just came No, wait. No, wait, hold on. Oh. Fourth. Fourth. The fourth is with you. I've realized a couple of times that I've called uh, predictions on rounds, I'm always one round short. He's one last he heard. So I said third round got naturally. So round fourth Stipe. round Stipe. So I came up with something right now. Okay. Fluke or nuke? Oh my god. Yes. So was DC a fluke or was it a nuke that destroyed the Stipe? I believe in fluke, but sometimes it is the nuke. But right now, I think it's the fluke. I think you're absolutely right. It's gonna be. DC's grappling is either going to be superior or Stipe is going to be able to land his shots and wear him down and finish the job. Yeah. I biasly will be for Stipe. To me, honestly, will be a fucking to- coin toss because either guy can win. I think they're very evenly matched. You both have very great advantage and disadvantage. It's a fucking great matchup. Yeah. That's why, to me, tonight is the greatest trilogy of all times at this moment. We'll see how it plays out. But both fights have ended in finishes. Mm-hmm. Both guys have had advantages. And if the third fight ends as beautifully as the first and second has, I might call this the best trilogy of all time. Damn. So I call I call you out, Steve-O, and the MMA neighborhood. Oh my God. What do you guys think? Don't ever do that again. It may never. What do you guys think is the best 
trilogy we've had in all of MMA history. And what do you guys think could be the best trilogy that has not been yet made in all of MMA history? I would really like to see Chell Sonnen versus Anderson Silva. Oh, God. <laughs> that's kind of, that's all right. I don't know about the second one. I was thinking, B- okay. I was thinking okay. BJ okay. versus okay. Frank Yeager 4. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> fuck BJ, dog. Oh, okay, no, oh, no, all serious, no, all, all serious, no. Too bad to uh, like I said earlier, Conor McGregor versus uh, Nate Diaz, I think that would be a fire. I don't, people are pu- are pushing it too hard, though. Like, it has to happen naturally for me to really enjoy it. Um, but I think that would be a great trilogy. Yeah. I like to see Shogun. Oh, uh, Hendo. Oh, sorry. Three. Shogun and... Re- Dan Hendo. Shogun versus Hendo? Yeah, he retired, but I mean... That's Damn. fucking both bangers, dog. Right there. There you go. Bad right there, right there. There you go. You know what I'm saying? That feels yeah. You know? But yeah. You got any more? You got any more trilogies? Not that I can think of right on the top of my head. You know? I would like to see GSP fuck up De- uh, Hendrix again. That'd be double. That'd be a duo. Huh? That would, they they, they like fought fight. twice. Only one. Why do I? I always think they fight. GSP fought, really fight. lost that one. Bro. Oh fuck! Ah, you. I'm just trilogy. No, no, other. No, not that I can think See? of. Can't Honestly, Chelsea Sonnen versus well, Sanders, that's right, I would so love that. Leo the... Machida versus Shogun. We'd like to see that again. Plus duo. What do you mean that's a duo? They fought twice. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. You're they right. fought okay, twice. Okay, okay. But Hindo and Shogun as well. Yeah. Shogun's got. And then I would love to see DC versus John Jones again. You're right. You're, that's out there. Um. That's a good one. Yeah. Now, what trilogies do you think were, were the best of the UFC? I mean, you're probably right. This one is very high up there, Stipe versus DC. But I think if Conor McGregor versus Nate Diaz, that but, one, but not that's, fictional. That's gangbusters. What's what's been done? Oh, what's been done? Yeah. Oh, what's been done? We have a Dos Santos, Cain Velasquez, would be close to call on this one. But I think this one's more more competitive. You know what my favorite is? What? Frank Yeager versus Ga- Gray Maynard. Maynard. Everyone fucking says Have you watched that. those fights? I don't think you watch them. <laughs> Dude, you I... You want to see a real Rocky movie? You want to talk shit? <laughs> you don't even have to watch Rocky. Watch Frankie Yeager versus Gray Maynard 2 and 3. That is Rocky. Well, what happened in the first one? Well, why, why not the first one? Uh, it's all right. You can watch that one. But we want, it wasn't for the belt. So what? It's a trilogy. Two and three? If you want to... Hey, you can't no, just... No. No, no, stop it. If you're saying the old oh, best trilogy, oh, don't watch the first fight, but the two and three, well, you that, watch, that tells me it's a shitty trilogy. You can watch the first fight, but if you want to see something amazing, two oh, and three. Oh, two and three. Dog, most amazing ever. Should I just ever. skip uh, Rocky one? Should I just skip that one and just go How to two you? and three? How dare you? Okay, fuck you. How dare you? Thank you for proving go my point. To it. Thank you for proving so, my point. Thank you for proving my point. Who's better <laughs> than Steve A and DC? Trilogy. Conor McGregor and but I'm talking, oh, one that's already I'm done. About real. Okay, if ones trilogies that have already been done, none. In my neighborhood, we got better trilogy than this. Who? Who? That's my one now. Oh yeah, well let us know, MMA neighborhood. Yeah. And uh, th- we just went through UFC 252. Yes. Uh, U- uh, Miocek versus Daniel Cormier. And make sure to Woo! follow and like and subscribe, all that good shit on in our YouTube. Neighborhood, YouTube in my neighborhood, in my neighborhood, underscore gram on the IG. And, you know, make sure to comment, bitch, that Devin is stupid oh. for thinking JDS even has a chance oh. versus Rosenstruck. Oh. Or, you wait, know, wait, wait. or say, well, hold on, or say, Steven, you know what? You're being a little too much of a prick on yes. Devin because of it. But you know what? There's two sides of every coin, there and there is two sides of the MMA neighborhood. Actually, there's more sides because there's you know what? all kinds. The, the MMA neighborhood is not anything without you. you. I'm and Steven. I'm Devin. And so you got you got Stipe? Yes. And I got Stipe. You just ruined the whole ending. And do you guys got <laughs> Stipe? If you don't, let us know. The same MMA neighborhood. Peace. Love you.